So last week we did a successful separation of worms out of some castings that I had that were really wet and there were a lot of worms in it. And it was really successful. We pulled an awful lot of worms out of it and I also put a couple bait trays into that little blue uh, little mammoth that I had. Pull a few more worms out of there because my ultimate goal here is to go ahead and set up another little mammoth uh, with the new style, the uh, olive green that I have right now currently. So I have one of those made up and I'm ready to install it. I just need to get the rest of these worms and get them into the system. Now all those worms have been sitting uh, for the last week in a vermi bag tote that I had set up and they're doing really well. But I really don't want to dump all that material into the new little mammoth. One, it's too much material. It's not the way to set up a new system. Uh, and two, I don't know how many worms are in there really. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull at least some of that material out of that vermi bag tote, do a quick light separation on some of these piles, and at least get it down for its, I get a pretty good idea of how many worms are there. Once I figure out how many worms are there, then I can go ahead and take that up, set up that new little mammoth, and get the thing going. And I'll have a starting point for we can see how the system goes when I really start pushing it. Because I haven't ran one of the little mammoths yet uh, as far as pushing the system at all. Uh, I did quite a few videos a long time ago on the full-size mammoth pushing that system and it can support a lot of worms. So my ultimate goal here is to go ahead and get this little mammoth running full bore, full speed, and we'll see what kind of uh, material it can process and what kind of worm population it can support. On a side note, I still haven't taken that little blue mammoth out of that wood stand and took it apart and put it back together yet uh, to make it smaller. So the wood stand I'm going to use to set this thing up is actually the wood stand that I set all the little mammoths in before I ship them out. So once I take that blue little mammoth out of that stand, that'll become my stand for uh, setting the bags in just for I can set them up after I make them. So let's go over and do a quick light separation, find out how many worms we got, and get this new little mammoth all set up. So I went and pulled about half the material out of the tote and put it into these four piles. And I've been kind of working the piles down a little bit and taking excess material and putting it into another uh, tray that's over here. So that's what I'm going to do now is just kind of, I've given them some time to go ahead and dig down and deep. So I'm going to start taking some of this material. I'm actually going to bring this tray over that I'm putting all the excess in. I'll do this one first. I just go along and I scrape any excess material off and put it over here. And you know, and I don't care if I get worms over into this because I'm going to put it back in the tote anyway. But So I'm doing this pretty quick. The whole idea is to get a better idea at the amount of worms I'm putting in to start this system out. There's actually more worms in here than I thought. So I won't bore you completely with this. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it some. Uh, until I can get some of these piles knocked down a little bit. That's about a pound and three quarters of worms right there. Now I'm going to do one more thing. Uh, I really want to try and start this system out clean. And if you notice all the little flying bugs I have in here, like this one right here, 
these actually can fly. I, I hate the stupid things. I'm not sure how I get them in there and stuff, but what I'm going to go ahead and do, and I have some beetles in here as well, just to try and at least eliminate some of that population. There's a lot of them mixed in this right now, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and give these worms actually a little bath. I'm going to fill this thing up with water. All those bugs and stuff will float to the surface. The worms will stay on the bottom, and uh, then I can at least eliminate a lot of them. Notice all the beetles and those little flying insects that are on the surface of this thing. So by doing this quick little rinse, I'll actually be able to uh, eliminate a big percentage of... Uh, notice those little shiny things right in here too. Those are actually springtails. They float as well. So I'm just going to take a little screen here and scoop these things out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scoop these things out with this. Then I have some really hot water here. And I'm just going to place them into this hot water. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to drain off this liquid and uh, So I added some fresh bedding in here with the worms that I washed off, put them in here. There's a pound and three quarters of worms here and they're ready to go into the new system. And uh, I pretty much have at least put a hurting on the bug population, the, the beetles and those little flying ones. So set this aside and we'll have it ready for when we get the little mammoth ready.